So in case that wasn't obvious, uh, I was celebrating my uh, at least temporary victory over the exhaust leak. I just put one of the new bolts in um, where the X pipe meets the cat back and uh, did not appear to have any continued exhaust leak. Um, the other three uh, hardware bits, the bolts and, and nuts and um, I can't think um, and uh, washers and all that. I'm going to try to replace those at some point. Um, I do think some of the other elements of the exhaust probably need to be replaced. I mean, this car is so old. Um, I assume the exhaust has been in place for almost as long as the car has been in place. So uh, I'm going to I just check the oil again, um, check the tire pressure. I'm going to take the car for a drive because tomorrow we're supposed to get some uh, winter weather again. Uh, at least when I get a chance to enjoy it before it gets cold on this brief spring. Good times. I really need to get a uh, like a some type of camera rig or whatever you call it, like equipment suction cup or something that I can put in the car. But the problem is whenever I'm recording in the Fox body while it's driving, like the, between the drone of the exhaust and the whine of the power steering pump, the audio ends up coming out like awful. So I don't know if I can like fix that with a microphone um, or if I just need to get a, uh, <laughs> a slightly quieter exhaust and uh, get the power steering pump situation sorted out again. Um, I, I have to say, I just drove the car for like 20 minutes and I, every time I drive it, I'm like, oh, I should drive this car more. But, um, interestingly, I say the same thing about the dude's thing about my 2014 Mustang. It's kind of a weird problem to have <laughs> not really a problem but i have two cars both of which every time i drive them i'm like oh, i really love driving this car I really enjoy this car and um i guess the only way reason i would describe it as a problem is that i there are so many other cars um obviously like newer mustangs um different year mustangs but lots of other cars that i'm very interested in uh in driving and owning and the, um, I mean, like, even in, even, even assuming I can afford to get a, a fourth vehicle, um, my, my wife is not thrilled about the idea of us, of two people having four cars, which I get. Um, and, you know, we have a kid now, so we got to make sure we're saving for college and, you know, making sure we have, um, money for emergencies, all that. But it's, um, man, I'm sure anybody else who has the, the disease of, uh, of car enthusiasm or, or the desire to be a car collector can, can totally sympathize. It's just like, I want it, you know, every day I'm like looking at whatever car it is that I want, um, next. Sometimes it's the new, sometimes it's the new Mach 1, sometimes it's like a hot hatch or like a, you know, like something like an Evo or an STI or a Civic Type R. Um, sometimes it's like, you know, Cadillacs, Corvettes, like all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, okay, I want this thing, but do I want to get rid of one of the Mustangs to get the thing? And I'm sure some people would say, obviously, you're crazy for, um, you know, keeping a pretty basic, two pretty basic Mustang GTs uh rather than getting something nicer, flashier, fancier. But every time I drive either of these cars, I'm just like, man, I really like this car. I feel like I made two really good purchases. Um, yeah. And uh, speaking of the dude's thing, I still don't have the hardware. It's, uh, fingers crossed, supposed to arrive tomorrow so that I can install the, um, the uh, GT500 steering wheel with the Alcantara. Um, hopefully I can get that done tomorrow if the hardware arrives at a uh, fairly early time. We'll see. It's supposed to be cold. I don't know. I mean, being inside the car, working on something is not as bad as being on the ground underneath the car when it's cold. But uh, still, it really depends on how cold it's going to be. Yeah.
So we'll see how this goes if the hardware arrives as expected tomorrow. It's the next day and I just got notice that my hardware for the steering wheel was delivered to my mailbox. So I'm going to get it. Look at this. The snow's not too bad, but Definitely not as nice as the uh, 60 degree weather we had yesterday. Okay, so at my package did arrive. I got one, this bolt for the GT500 steering wheel. So I can hopefully get that installed soon. I guess the one that it is in the car is torque to spec. So it's one time use only. And then also I got this um, PCV hose for the Fox body, which <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know, um, 100% that it needs to be replaced, but, um, it looks like it could be another option in terms of where oil is leaking from. So I'm going to try and get that installed, uh, sometime in the next couple days as well. Exciting stuff. Yeah. So I thought I was going to be able to get some stuff done today. It is like 28 degrees and it's not really getting any warmer, even though the sun just came out. So... Uh, maybe we'll try again tomorrow or early next week, depending on how much time I have after work and with the baby. I don't know. Anyways, uh, keep an eye out for an actual update where we install the GT500 steering wheel and, uh, and maybe do some work on the Fox body. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're staying safe. Peace out.